customer at a gas station is pumping gasoline into a gas tank. The rate of flow of gasoline is modeled by a differential function F, where F of T is measured in gallons per second, and T is measured in seconds since pumping began. Selected values of F of T are given in the table. Mm -hmm, pardon? Using correct units, interpret the meaning of integral 60 to 135 F of T D of T in the context of the problem. Use a right Riemann sums with three in sub-intervals 60 to 90, 90 to 120, and 120 to 135 to approximate the value of the integral of 30 from 135. 60 to 135, F of T, D of T. Okay, so if that is a rate, does it make sense that you start at the rate of zero before you start pumping it? Your, 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 the gas is not going in, and at the end, hopefully the gas is done, it's not going in. So it says to describe the meaning of, so let's put on here, integral from 60 to 135, F of T, DT, is representing, representing the amount of gas going in where? Into the tank. So it represents the total amount, total number of gallons, and always use the units, they're looking for that, of gas pumped into the tank. And they're all about representing the number. The 60 represents seconds, from 60 seconds to 135 seconds. Is that considered pretty fast? About a minute to pump? Yeah? Okay, that alone is gonna give you one point. So that's easy, easy, easy. So if you're like, hey, I can get this, go ahead and put a check mark next to it. The next one says, now to use the right Riemann sums. And then we have three sub interval. So for our sub interval, notice it's going from 60 to 135. We are not including zero. We are not including that 150, okay? So if I jump one, two, and three. So my right Riemann sum is from here. What number's on the right, on our Y value? 0.15, so let's go ahead and put on here, integral from 60 to 135, F of T dt. So 15 was on the right of the first um, sub-interval, and then the difference between the X's are what? 60, 30. Uh -huh, 30, and then the next one, what's the right one on this one next? 0. 0.1, the difference of the X's again? 30, 30. very good. And then the right Riemann sum, the right one is 0 0.05. And then the difference on that one is different, 15. And it is calculator portion, type it in. So we have 0 0.15 times 30, 0 0.1 times 30, 0 0.05 times 30. And hopefully you're typing with me. Oh, 15, thank you. 8.25, so this person must have already had enough gas in there. Isn't my gas tank like 15 gallons or something? Yeah. Gallons? Depends. Depends? So having the right Riemann sum, one point. Again, that is doable. So hopefully next to it, you're putting a what next to it? Check. A check. And then they said, um, Find the approximated value. I'm going to use it with my green. And always steal the sentence stem from the original question. If you can't, that's okay. Write more than you need. So we have the approximated value of the integral from 60 to 135. F of T dt is 8.25 gallons. And I feel like this right here, the whole thing is a freebie. And is a calculator portion. So are we able to put three check marks on this one? Yeah. Hopefully. So at this point on the FRQs, y'all should feel very comfortable, okay? All right, let's go to part B. Joe, go ahead and read part B. such that F 
that uh, derivative of f or derivative of c is equal to zero just by the answer. Okay, so it's saying, is there any number in between? If I were to find the slope gives me zero, look at this one. If I do y2 minus y1, what does that give me? Zero. And that was by, do y'all remember the theorem? A rock is equal to the I rock. Mean value theorem. So let's kind of recall the mean value theorem. This is our mean value theorem. And it's card number five. If you're keeping up with the cards with me, it's card number five and it's the front. So card number five says, for us to use mean value theorem, I have to state the function is continuous and differentiable. Okay, so let's go ahead and state that. F, is it, or is this F? Yeah. So first they asked us, can that happen? Yes. F of T is continuous and differentiable on the interval from zero to 150. Actually, they use 60, right? 60 to 120. If you want to use the, um, what was it, the inequality notation, that's also okay. And then let's go ahead and use it. So we know f of um, 120 minus f of 60 over 120 minus 60. That's going to give us, and I'm looking at the chart, at 60, my y value is 0.1. Not at 60, at 120, also at 60 as well, over 60. That's going to give me 0 over 60, which is 0, which is confirming the original statement. F of C does equal 0. Always state the original. If you lose a point because you forgot to state what was already on there, that's a sad day. So having all that work is one point. And then we have to then use our theorem. By what theorem was it? Mm -hmm. By MB, MBT. And we're going to steal our sentence then here. There exists blah, 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 such that blah, blah, blah. We're copying all that. So that part I'm not going to read out loud, but just write. Oops, wrong pen. So if you're not writing much on the AP test, most likely the score will not be good. And just stating that, another point. So again, A rock is equal to, I rock is always a mean value theorem. But you have to state it is continuous and differentiable at the interval given. And we've done quite a bit of this even in class, not just during the AP um, review. Okay, let's go on to my part C. Red, go ahead and read part C. <clears throat> The rate of flow of gasoline in gallons per second can also be molded by G of T is equal to T over 500 cosine uh, T over 120 squared for zero less than or equal to T less than or equal to 150 using the model to find the average rate of flow of gasoline over the time of the interval of zero is less than or equal to T less than or equal to 150. Uh, show the setup for your calculation. All right, average rate of flow. This would be card number eight. And if, it, if you remember the average value, it, make sure your mode is in um, radio mode on this one. So this is the average value. So card number eight, I'm not gonna show, but it was one over B minus A. Who is my B? A comes first, B comes next, 150 minus zero integral from 0 to 150. And then what's nice about the AP test, because they've already stated the whole complex equation, if you just write G of T, that can just replace the whole thing, just to save time. DT. Now for this one, to get the integral, is it a math nine? Math number nine? Yes. Let's do that. Start with our fraction, one over 150. I'm gonna assume I, I'm having a brain fart. I don't know what minus zero is. And then math nine. And just plug in your bounds and your equation exactly as you see. 
Okay, here's what's annoying about this one. This whole thing needs another parentheses. Because if you notice, it starts you off with the parentheses. So make sure that many parentheses do happen. So X over 500. Close it, just like you see on the paper. Cosine. And then I'm going to open another one because it has another one open. X over 120. Close. Squared. Close again. So always count and make sure there's that many open parentheses. I see open one, two, three, four. So I see close one, two, three, four. So I have four open parentheses and four closed parentheses. Hopefully that was done correctly. Boom. Dougie point oh nine something. So point oh nine five, or you could say point oh nine. If I round it, that value will be six, right? So you can choose to just kind of terminate after the three or choose to um, round using your brain. It'll take either or. So that alone is gonna give you one point. Should we all put a check mark on this one? Yes. For sure. And then I'm going to take the sentence stem from here, all of that, the average flow, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm gonna say is whatever I got. So let's copy it. The average rate of flow of gas over time I think an uh, uh, interval I'm not going to write out because I am going to give the interval specifically 150 is 0.096 gallon per second if you mess up on the unit on this one, and even though you have everything right, they're not gonna give you credit for this. If you don't write interval, or write the unit. unit. Mm -hmm. I know it is. But it's pretty easy to do though. Again, should these two be easy check mark? Yeah, yeah very easy. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to part D. On part D, uh, Jocelyn, read that part. Okay, so they're asking us to find G prime. That was math what? Math eight. math eight. And again, because they already gave you the function, you don't have to plug it all in, but instead you may do this. G prime of 140. And literally type it in and be like, thank you. Math eight. And don't forget, we need four open parentheses and four closed parentheses. X over 500, close, cosine, open again, X over 120, close is squared, and then close one more time, and it's at 140. So I'm going to count my parentheses. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 closed, 1, 2, 3, 4 open. Did y'all get some negative number? Yes. Okay, so again on this one, you can choose, choose to say negative 0.004 or 005. So we have negative, let's do 005. So that alone is one point. Should that be a check on your end? Yes. Definitely. And then let's steal What's the meaning? Oh, we can't steal anything on that one. But we do need to include the time. So let's see. I'm gonna say at t equals 140 seconds. The rate, we know it's the rate because derivative is a slope. Slope is the rate of flow of the gas. Is it increasing or decreasing? It is decreasing. You see a negative. at rate of, and it's kind of redundant, but I'd rather you be that way rather than without. Because I already wrote the word decreasing, am I going to put negative again? 
Because when something's going down, the negative is already included. That's the tricky part on this one. So then for this one, watch this, y'all ready? The F of T already was gallon per second. So if I take the rate of that, it's a gallon per second squared. Very good. And then, so that alone is gonna give us all that one point. What if I chose to do this instead? What if I said at T equals 40 seconds, the rate of flow of gas is negative 0.005? That's okay, because you did not use decreasing and then negative as well. Good?